What is the most uncomfortable way you found out someone had a crush on you? I was in my second year of uni and lived in the dorms. It was right around Halloween. The guy was someone I'd met at my quad's Halloween party. We talked a little but I spent most of my time talking to friends, a lot of it making plans for where we were going to go for our after party. Guy and I made plans to meet up in a few days for lunch. Over the next few days, I keep finding notes on my door. Nothing too bad but just enough to weird me out. Stuff like you have a beautiful laugh when normally the notes people left on my door were more along the lines of grabbed, x, from the c-store for you or can I borrow your mixing bowls? I was one of the few people in my building with some cooking supplies since my stress relief is baking. Anyways, I came down with this nasty stomach bug. Puking my guts out and trying not to turn into a diarrhea fountain. It hit the night before the lunch meeting with the guy and lasted about 36 hours. Sent the guy a message saying I was sick and could we reschedule for another time, maybe on the weekend. Never got a response but a few hours later, I heard a knock on my door. The guy proceeded to sit outside my door for several hours, trying to get me to let him in. The first 20-ish minutes or so, it seemed sweet but when I left at one point to run to the bathroom. It didn't end up being nearly so sweet. He went into my room and was making himself comfy in my bed. When I came back, he held his arms out and said he'd make everything better. Yeah no. Got my RA's boyfriend who lived in her room with her to help get the guy out. Guy stayed away for about an hour, aka until the RA's boyfriend left for work, and spent the next several hours just sitting outside my room, blocking the doorway and leaving me feeling trapped in my room. Eventually he left. I felt so nervous going in and out of my room for a couple of weeks afterwards though. Quad staff slash uni police were not at all helpful. My RA and her BF had my back and I was on good terms with a lot of the guys in my building, three quarters of the building was male, which is what ended up helping me the most. RA and BF kept an eye on my room and my RA would text me if she saw the creeper on our floor. My guy friends had the same slash similar classes as me so I always had at least one person who was willing to walk with me on campus near our quad and we usually went to lunch slash supper in groups of three plus. Still, it took until about Valentine's Day for the creeper to finally leave me alone.